And David joins us on the Wednesday stove. Hey, Dave, good morning. So um, good morning. when the scouts come down to Alabama to watch you pitch, how does it go? Like, is there a PA announcer, and then they all get a gift bag, and they bring out their stopwatches? How's it going to go tomorrow? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I, I tried to pick a date where it looked like the weather was going to be good, and I was originally going to do it on Tuesday, but the weather kind of took a turn. So then I pushed it to Thursday, and now it looks like it's going to rain tomorrow, so I may be throwing indoors, which is kind of frustrating, but we're going to make it happen. Uh, the main thing is they just want to see you throw and make sure you're healthy. So let me ask you right now, uh, how are you healthy? Are you healthy, and how's the ball going to come out of your hand tomorrow? I think it's going to come out pretty crisp. I've thrown, I think this will be my seventh bullpen, so uh, I've been, been training down here at Alabama for the last month or so, and just been working hard on it and getting everything back. It's not like I've forgotten how to throw. It's just a matter of just getting, the, you know, the velocity back. And, and over time, I mean, it didn't take long at all before I was throwing the ball and it was coming out real crisp and I was getting the ball spinning the way I wanted to. So you go through the whole arsenal tomorrow. Uh, I'm wondering about, you know, how long you think you'll be out there. Who's catching you? Is there, you know, who's going to warm you up? All that stuff. Yeah, I've got one of the catchers from Alabama has been, been getting me. His name's Sam. He's He's really good back there behind the dish, and uh, I think he's going to catch me tomorrow unless he's got class. Uh, 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 if not, I'll get one of the bullpen catchers. I, I, um, I'm i very fortunate. They, they've been great to me at Alabama and have, and have hooked me up with everything and, and somebody in the facility, so it's been perfect. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably going to try to do 30-35. Uh, last, last few bullpens I've thrown, I've had to cut myself off because I just wanted to keep throwing because my arms have been feeling so good. So uh, I'm thinking 35 pitches would be, be good. Show everybody what I've got. Now, you see Nick Saban around there? I have not seen Nick Saban. I did get a uh, very quick tour through the new facility over there, uh, and it is the football facility is incredible. I, it's I, something he, special. This is a serious question because you're, you're an Alabama guy. We usually have you on in January to kind of preview the national championship game <laughs> for us. But I'll ask you this. If, if the Crimson Tide were an NFL team, I think they could finish third in the AFC South. They get slaughtered. <laughs> I don't. I, 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 serious question: How many games would they win in the NFL? I, I don't know. I definitely think they would give a few teams a run for their money. But those 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 guys in the NFL are they're the real deal. They've they're pros for a reason. Come you on, know, man. Um, That's like saying uh, the Alabama baseball team is going to be able to hit him. Uh, no, come on. But it's a different discussion, man. That team is so far above the rest of the college football world with the exception of maybe I Ohio State and Clemson, as you know. I just yeah. I think it's real. No, they're, they're, <laughs> they're cut above. But uh, it's, it, yeah, I'll you're let talking David about 19 argue and 20-year-olds versus 25-year-old, 30-year-old men. It's, it's a big difference. <laughs> All right. Okay. You guys aren't as optimistic as I am. Go, go back to baseball. Sorry. Let's go back to Sorry baseball. Sorry for the U-turn. Uh, that, that's cool. Um, so, no. So, what, what would be the difference from throwing inside or outside? Uh, I would just prefer to throw on the game mound there. I, I threw my last yeah. bullpen off of it just to get ready. Um, I just like the feel of it. They got a great mound there. It's a good backdrop to throw in. Um, and you're in spikes. I, I would prefer to be in spikes, but if I've got to throw it in turfs, that's not a big deal. I mean, yeah. I've done both, so. Ball be popping is, indoors, it is though. It is. Pow! I know that, <laughs> yes. Dave, when you signed with the Sounds Phillies, uh, you did your own deal, and uh, and now you're back into the representation world. Talk about the decision. I mean, you want, it was something you wanted to do and check it out for your for yourself, and now you're back with your agent? Yeah, yeah. I just, at that point in, in, in life, I just wanted to take a chance. I wanted to more see what it was like. I wanted to be able to speak to GMs and see what that side of the world was like. And I thought I could do it and it ended up working out. And unfortunately I ended up blowing my arm out after about six games with Philly. So that was frustrating, but uh, I just wanted to know what it was like to be, be on the other side of the game for a minute. No, that's pretty cool. You're able to do that. Hey, I, I want to ask you this. Um, so you're going to throw and, and you've been playing long enough that you played long enough when people first scouted you as a high school or college pitcher that they wanted to look at how, how the ball came out, how hard did you throw, your mechanics, that type of stuff. Now we're so deep in analytically, spin rate, rap soto, all those things. What will, how will they track that tomorrow with you, and is that a big factor, and how different is that now? I'm not really worried about it. I feel like the ball's coming out of my hand just like it used to before, before I had surgery, so... I'm not. I'm not really worried about what the machine's going to say. I think it's going to read, read pretty close to but what we'll, I was. But was you'll doing kind before. of be pitching to the machines, though, right? As well. I, I guess so. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what what teams are looking for nowadays. I know that I've, I've 
I've got a fastball and a curveball and a changeup, and <laughs> they're all in the strike zone, and I got to throw it over the plate to get guys out. So I don't, I don't, I try not to overthink it too much. I'm not worried about how fast it's been, and you know, the hitters will let you know if it's not any good. Nice. I want to do a little, a uh, little stumping for you here because uh, not only are you going to help somebody's bullpen. But as we know, you have a charitable side to your life, and uh, you'll be an immediate help to the community relations department wherever you sign. Talk about High Socks for Hope, uh, the money that you've raised with your charity, and what you might be up to with it right now. Uh, yeah, we're definitely, you know, we've, we've been going for a long time now. We, we do disaster relief, and uh, we help a lot of veterans get moved back into the VA. So what we do is kind of like when other charities pull out of an area, we come back in and find families that need help and need furnishing and pretty much anything, any way we can help, we do. And um, we've been very fortunate with a lot of volunteer help here in Tuscaloosa and everywhere we've been. And we just keep it going as uh, we're a very small organization, but we handle a lot of uh, a lot of families and we've helped a lot of people get back into their houses and get back on their feet. And it's just something that, that I'm proud of and I'm, and I'm glad that we continue to do it. And I'm hoping to keep it going for the next well, till whenever. I know that uh, previously you had pledged a hundred bucks for every strikeout, two hundred bucks for every save to the cause, and I'm, you know, I'm looking at your baseball reference page, man, and there there've been some years where you've put a little money into the kitty here. Is are those numbers still out there? Oh uh, yeah, listen, I'm I'm not worried about it. If I don't get enough strikeouts, I just donate more. I don't, I'm not worried about it. If I'm, you know, I'm, I'm planning on trying to punch out a hundred every year, so, uh, you know, if I don't get to that number, I usually just make the donation. I don't I don't worry about it. Good for you, man. Hey, you know, we had uh, Joe Girardi and Mike Harkey both on uh, earlier <laughs> and they were both talking about a lot of different stories with Grant Jackson or whatever. You're already laughing. Uh, what, is, what is so special about those two as a player to play with them? They're just fun to be around. They just bicker with each other and Hark is always giving Joe crap and it's back and forth. It's nonstop. They both give me crap because they think I'm an, I'm an idiot, but I mean, I enjoyed being around them both for a long time. They... They kept me straight and got me right in a bunch of big games. And, and, and so, uh, and then the, the, the serious side of it, wh how, why does Joe handle the bullpen so well? Why has he got that reputation? I think so because he does the, uh, you know, if, you, if you, he tries to limit the amount of outings a guy gets. Like if you're throwing two days in a row, you're probably going to get that third day off unless you're a veteran guy who's, you know, he might need the situation, you know, and, and all the years I played with him, it was, you know, every time I threw three days in a row, he'd come ask me, how do you feel? And I'd be like, I got you today, like, don't ask me tomorrow, though. I may not be able to pick up the ball for that fourth day, but I'm, if you need me today, I've got it. And it's just nice to to know that you can go out there and be full throttle in an outing and knowing that you're going to have the next day off and just give it everything you got. Not that you're not doing it anyways, but if you're on that third day in a row, I mean, it just gives you that little extra driving force. And he's just very good about trying to put guys in situations where he thinks that they can, they can succeed and, and get the job done. Hey, Dave, good luck in the showcase tomorrow. You, you don't need us to say that. It's all going to be great, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you at the ballpark this year sometime in your new uniform. And I know we'll have video of this thing to show for folks tomorrow. So <laughs> Yeah, send us some uh, video, man. Way to go, man. Very cool. I'll and, do, uh, we'll I'll do talk, my best. <laughs> we'll talk to you down the road. Thanks for the visit, Dave.